Hello, this is John Perkins. And I'm Craig Bell. Hey, John, have you ever had the chance to guess like how many jelly beans are in the jar? <laughs> Actually, just the other day at the fair, we put our number in. Did you win? I don't guess. I've not heard from them. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried those many times, never have won. I'm terrible at trying to figure out how many are there, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that on Take 5. Hey, John, so here's what Google says about how many grains of sand are on the Earth. Do you have a guess? No. All right, here's what she says. According to Alexa Answers, Amazon.com, adding up the sand from all the beaches and deserts in the world, the Earth has approximately 7.5 times 10 to power of 18 grains of sand, or in another words, 7 quintillion, 500 quadrillion grains. So that's more than I can fathom. <laughs> I was going to say, what did she just say? Yeah, what's that number? <laughs> It's a little bit more than my paycheck, John, I'll just say. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? The Bible says, and by the way, that's just a guess. We don't really have any idea, do we? No. I mean, scientists are trying to calculate and figure their best guess. But the Bible says that God's thoughts towards us are more than that number. In Psalms chapter 139, verses 17 and 18, it says, How precious are thy thoughts unto me, O God, how great is thy sum of them. And he goes on and answers in 18. He said, if I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. And when I wake, I am still with thee. David is saying, this is how many times that God was thinking of him. Amazing, isn't it? The guy would have that many thoughts toward us, towards you personally. Yes, I was thinking, I heard a preacher preach this the other day, and I, I thought, well, that ain't in there exactly like that. And I turned, and it, and, it, and it was. And I couldn't help but think about this over and over and over, that God has thought about me that many times. And it was personal, wasn't it? He said that thoughts towards me. Yes. You know, we, cause we, sure, we think, well, he thinks about the world, you know, that much maybe. But me, Craig, John, you know, us individually, you as a listener, he thinks about you that many times. Yeah, and, and he started off on the 17th, so how precious is his thought? So he's thinking good things about us. And I, I think uh, I think a lot of times we we read scriptures, and since I've read this, since this uh, verse has been brought to my attention, and since I've been thinking and pondering upon it, it's changed the way I look at a lot of things in the Bible. For one, when I read that scriptures, that he knows how many hairs that we have on our head. And I thought which for me and you ain't too hard to count. <laughs> right. But but I thought, you know, I've, I've preached that over and over from God being big and God being all-knowing and all almighty that he can, so powerful that he can count how many hairs that you have on your head. And, and he is. But I, I, I think I missed the bigger picture. That I think that's saying that God cares enough for me and he knows enough about me that he knows how many hairs that I have on my head. And what's interesting thought, John, is that he not only knows your current number, but he knows what your future number of hairs will be. He, yeah. And he knew that before you were even born. Yeah. He knows our thoughts. He knows what you're thinking right now. But the Bible said he knows our thoughts far off. He knows what you're going to be thinking in 10 years from now. God already knows what you're going to be thinking because he, he knows you that well. The, his thoughts towards us was even before we were, were here, he told the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1, verse 5, Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. God had all the knowledge about Jeremiah before he was even conceived. The thoughts of us being so many, that spans eternity that God was thinking about you in this very moment. Yes, what a mighty God that we serve. I was thinking about the Old Testament and how holy the temple was and how uh, only so many people could go so far into the, the temple. The holy of the holies, only the priest could do this in the temple and only certain people. But when Jesus talks about the temple, he's talking about, he says, our bodies is the temple. So God has thought about you and me so many times that he compared the temple, which is everything in the Old Testament, he compared the temple to our bodies. You know, John, sometimes when we do something good for somebody, we think we feel good about ourselves. We gave them a moment of our time. But friends, God has given you every moment of time in thought towards you. Not just a, a little bit of section of it where, you know, hey, he's given you a little attention, but he's given you all of his attention. If the thoughts towards you are more than the grains of sand on the earth, God has given you a lot of thought today, friends.